we have now discussed the why we need what is needed to make the tool and the tools needed for the making the tool now come to introduction so before we proceed with any program or to write any program we need to know what are the data types okay data type is a kind of <coughs> defining a rule what kind of information you can store what type of data you will get so within this we have two types simple data type and complex data type simple means it is very straightforward uh, it is string data string data string means it is alpha numeric like uh, your name one and maybe you want to store your address where you are so all that kind of information will be represented as string format string or where so based on the technology it will just be for okay string or can be considered as where 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 For example, if we see this, string is a format. <coughs> you can store that information by denoting the data within quotes. Okay. If you enter the data, this data true within quotes, that becomes a string data type, and your name. You are representing it within quotes. This is a string. And another simple type is number. Number is a data type which can hold the digital value, digit. Maybe it can be a decimal value also. But it just varies like integer, <coughs> number, and uh, float, double based on the technology and boolean data type so boolean data type you just wanted to give kind of information like that any question type of information like uh, do you like playing cards is a question so that information can be answered as yes or no that is string data and also it can be uh, internally represented as true or false whether I, I like to play cricket or not <coughs> you're just giving the response some answer and that information will be stored in boolean format you like to play cricket or not True or false. and another data type is complex data type Complex means you are reusing the existing simple data type, but here instead of a single line, you wanted to collect all the information and put into some data type that becomes the complex data. For example, it represents in two formats. Key value page is the object. In complex, there are two data types object complex data type, array data type. Object 
will hold the data in key value. Okay. And array is index based and it will hold the data within square bracket. Likewise, there is a name. You want to provide your information name. That name. This name field is a string data. When you consider just this line, it is a string data. So string data type. And then age. Age is number data. Number data. And then married. Whether you are married or not. Boolean data. Boolean data. So these all three individually are simple data types. But you wanted to send this information together. Okay. Then you need to create a complex data type which can hold the information together. This is going to represent a object, object. and uh, an empty object can represent just by opening and closing the flower bed and the empty array just a square bracket the collection of objects it's not array is no it is a collection of data collection of objects or collection of names collection of numbers or collection of numbers so within this we have structured array when we say structured array means all the information within that represents the same data type that means you wanted to store the list of names Like string pair string. So all names will no be welcome member data names array of objects. You can store it, but that becomes a unstructured array. This type. This one. You can store the information, but it is a unstructured data. No one this this is the name. The square bracket. That becomes another complex data. You can create so here we are just storing the name into our and here we are storing the person information, name, age, and marital status within the array. So how we are going to access this information? With the index data. Okay, uh, for suppose this array name is person. Okay, this data is assigned to person here. If you want to access the name, you need to use person of zero. the below example uh, it is using object data type array data type objects within objects that means this is object data This is object data. It is just address information. And basically, you wanted to create a person information, person data. A person can hold information like name, age, friend, second husband, whether he is married or not, and where he is. So this is a person information. You need to gather. 
and there will be multipurpose that means multiple means it is array means and one person means it is a author person is having a name this becomes a string this is a number and friends friends can have many or one that's why we are going to store it as array and then address so within address there will be address line 1 line 2 and the pin code post code and which state he belongs to in which country so this is the minimal information we need to have that's why we are creating this address as a object that means which is holding again multiple data so it became object and this object is within the person object complex types these are more complex it is array of objects of arrays and objects so we can go through this use cases i mean from above this is your data and how you can access the data you can use this example for example there is punjab line one where is this information punjab line one is So you need this information Put render size of zero zero over two. So all this data is payload. Where we say payload means it is a business data. That's why payload is nothing but a business data. And from this, which <coughs> person object we need? The first person object. First means the array's index starts with zero. That's why one minus one zero within this where is this information stand within address dot line that's why we are representing as payload of zero dot address dot line one this is map type hmm? this is map type yeah we are mapping the data I mean we are extracting the information from this content payload and here use case 2 is find the friend Gandhi of Subhash where is this information what is he trying to say find friend Gandhi of Subhash Subhash here is the Subhash record okay First, we need to find the Subhash record. So, from payload, which is this object, second object. So, it, since it is an array, we are going to represent as payload of one. And from this payload, again, we need to find the friend. Okay. 
Taylor Van Eastman, Prince Theo Van Eastman. Here, first we are going to find the sugar shake. So this is the payload. From this payload, which object is sugar shake? Second, this object. I mean, here we are going to search with the name. Who is Subhash? So that's why we are saying payload of one. That means we get this data. Now, just consider this. This is now our data by payload of one expression. And from here, we need to find the friend Gandhi. So within this command, where is this friend information? Subhash, friends. Within friends, there is friends information. So we are saying payload of one dot friends. Okay. And within this one, where is Gandhi? First, that means friends of Gandhi. That's why we are saying of zero. Within this friends one, the first one that means zero. Okay. And uh, you can go through these use cases and uh, we can extract the information as we like. We need to find Subash and uh, how we can do it. So this is how many times now? Mapping. This total are mapping. These are use cases. So we need to understand what are the different data types and how we can extract that simple information. Then we can go through the use cases. And even though uh, you are using some programming, you need to know how we can extract that information. So there are some expressions by using those two expressions we can extract the information within this one. That is called a data with language. All these use cases we can extract the information by using data with language. So we can practice data with that. First try to understand this data type. Complex data data is released. Easy to get the data. It is we are trying to explain the data by using complex data. Which one better cases is not a better or a not better. We are defining the data type and based on the business need we would be able to define the data type. For example, here we are saying we need a person information. Okay. So whenever we want, it, we are saying we, uh, we need a person information. At that point of time, we should be in a position to define the data type as per the business need. That means we need to capture this information, minimal information. And based on that, we can define the data. 